What up, y'all? It's your boy Talk To Him, Jay. Your boy Flip Zion. And this is Talk To Him Entertainment, man. Talk To Him. Hey, man. We back with another one, man. We got an interview on the flow. Y'all know what the fuck going on, man. We got two special guests in the cut, man. Two? Go ahead. Those. I got my nigga Jay Sticks and my nigga Derek. Yes, sir, Ski. What's the deal? Yes, sir, Ski. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling, man? Shit. Great to be alive. Chilling, I'm high. <laughs> no good. <laughs> Yeah. Bro got the shades on. I fuck with them. They both got the shades on. You gotta on. have the shades on just because we was about to be on cam. Give yeah. me some man in black vibes. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's the whole thing. The last time I did a podcast, my eyes were just so red. I was like, never again, bro. Because you be uh, <laughs> blowing on them bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? They let you smoke. That's the trap. Type exactly. Shit, shit. Now you got memes that you look and blow. <laughs> I ain't like, I ain't fry this head in the comments. <laughs> no care. Exactly. It's, sure funny, uh, it's funny that y'all mentioned that. I actually did a podcast once and I hit the blunt. I was, yeah. Finished. <laughs> See? Finished. Nigga, I did one. I did one with my man's, uh, who was it? Nolan? Was it Nolan or Ace? No, I think it was Nolan. I was in that bitch, bro. <laughs> I had a list of questions up. And it was supposed to be the same questions, right? Jeez. And I had a whole different, a whole different set of questions up for a whole different interview. I'm like Floyd, bro. What, what questions are you reading? <laughs> I'm like, oh, she. <laughs> See, podcast. What's the word, bro? You just gotta have a uh, elegance. You know what I'm Type saying? Shit. <laughs> you <laughs> gotta, gotta have, know. Gotta have a clear mind. Then again, you want the shit be all genuine conversation. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Okay. Like I ain't gonna lie, we don't. This wasn't planned. Uh, as y'all can tell, it was very last minute. Like, yeah. We was about to start some shit, just me and him. And he was like, hold on, wait a minute. I got that text from bro. I'm like, shit. <laughs> Put the, the shit on the floor, yeah. You feel me? I mean, now we about to make something out of nothing. Type I'm about to say no cap. Shit. You the king of doing that. So uh, introduce yourself, man. What y'all, what y'all do, man? What, what's the, uh, go ahead. Hey, I looked up. All right, I'll go first. Uh, my name is Derek B. Um, by Derek B on Instagram. And I'm the manager of Mendex. You yeah. know, all of this. Dang, um, all right. You know, it's a team of 13 of us now. Just got a new member. Damn. Um, but, shoot, like, I'm the manager. I'm the photographer. You know, if you ever go on my page and see my work, I just, I guess I just want to see, like, everybody. I want to see all my friends successful. You feel me? Like, we was really, like, friends before any of this started. Like, we was just, we was in the basement for real. No cap. No cap. So it's just like, I just want to see everybody elevate. want to see, you know, myself elevate. But that's enough for me. I'm that's, uh, it's funny as hell that you mentioned the basement because we in the basement right we now. No, no, cap. Cap. no cap. We started oh, out. This is that's Exactly. This is what it reminds me of. Type that's shit. all it is. A nigga with a, a dream in the basement. Exactly. <laughs> that's it. No, nah, straight up. Go ahead, brother. Um, I'm Jay Sticks, man. Big motherfucking Sticks, a.k.a. Mr. Mosby. Um, <laughs> Mr. Mosby. I've been rapping him for about, like, five years, five, six years now. I'm a part of Mendex. You know what I'm saying? What was I? You know, I was the first rapper in this shit, you feel what I'm saying? And then we just started adding on from there. That's hard. But, uh, yeah, man. Big Sticky. Now, with you, you uh, have you always wanted to be a rapper since you said you were, like, the first rapper in this shit? You knew that's what you want to do? Nah, that's what's silly about this shit, bro. I was like, I was always on stage as a young nigga, right? Like, cause my mom do hair, so like she had hair shows and shit. Like, oh, that's tough. I was always on stage, even in like school shit. You know what I'm saying? I always really? had. Like, so you were, were you the kid that would go up on stage for the talent show? Yeah, talent shows, all of that, bro. I was doing all of that, but I. It's funny because I never wanted to be like a rapper. People used to tell me back in the day, like, you funny, like you should be a comedian. So I used to be like, okay, well, I guess that's what I'm going to be. You know what I'm saying? But I never like even put no thought, real thought towards it, you feel me? But, yeah, I was always on stage, but I don't know. It wasn't until I was, like, in high school, bro, I seen Lil Yachty. Oh, okay. I seen Lil Yachty, and I was like, damn, bro, you could really, like, make it in this shit and not be the most gutter gutter street nigga in the world. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Type so shit. I was like, yeah, like, so Boat was, like, my first, and I was, like, a senior in high school. Okay. So when it got equipment, nigga took that shit serious oh, right there. Type shit. In that the shit basement. In the, bas- in the basement. In the in basement. In the basement. Um You wanted to like so like with you with the being manager, you knew like, yeah, my niggas got that shit. I mean manage y'all. I mean like, you know, pull some strings for y'all and some shit. I mean, yeah. honestly, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like I say it like this, bro, like 
like I said, we like I said earlier, we could sit up here and talk for hours, bro, because it's really like a whole story, like how this went on for real. Yeah. But it's just like you feel me? Like he said, he started rapping. He made his first song, and it was just like he kept making more songs. Like, and I'm not finna sit up here. I ain't finna cap to you. Feel me? Like, I thought he was alright, and then I seen him like kept taking it serious, kept taking it serious. I'm like, dang, like okay, but because it was like it was a point in time where it's like we was all like I said, it's twelve of us. It was all in point in time where we was finding like. What we was good at type shit. Like mm-hmm. our man's had community college club. Um, you know, R.I.P. I mean not R.I.P. Uh <laughs> shit. Let me not say that. But uh shout out my nigga Chris, you feel me? Cause he came up with the idea of this shit. You feel me? The foundation. And then he took it, he took it, started rapping with it, started saying it, saying it in the uh in the songs and shit. I and started rapping that shit hard. He like, started rapping that soon shit. Soon his founder was like, he made that shit a name, like yeah, are right, we gonna do a brand and this shit is Mendax? I'm like, oh, all right, babe, you just gave me a purpose, like a set to rep on beat. Yeah, hey, <laughs> you, you feel me? We is not, is no violence. This is all positivity type yeah, shit. Like, we we rep manifestation and just being you. You feel me? Just being yourself type shit. Cause it's just like without without this nigga being himself, without this nigga founder being himself and creating the whole brand like this shit. It's the foundation of this shit, bro, for real. And then it's just like you feel me. He started doing shows and shit. He was like. I want you to be my manager type shit. And I was, like, I was managing myself for real. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But it was like, this is my, this is my best friend. You feel me? Like, shit, might as well. And then it was like a nigga, like, I knew he was on point with shit. He's the nigga that's always on time to the club. Or, you know, like, he was, a, he's a very, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Out of all niggas, I trust you. you really with, pick your yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You got to know your personnel. You a dependable nigga. Exactly, exactly. No fake. Uh, uh, I fuck with like the fact that you said like you could be yourself with the rap shit and not be like so good a yeah yeah bro see I ain't no Jeff and ass nigga like bro I'm from Detroit like you can hear it in how I talk all that like I ain't no soft nigga ever but I ain't no like I'm not about to say act like I'm uh, and that's <laughs> that be niggas problem bro that's why niggas be getting stumped out <laughs> <'Cause>, <laughs> for real because they be trying to be something they not because the rap got them feeling so. It's like, bro, no, just be you. It, be, it definitely be like that. Straight uh, up. I work with a lot of uh, Detroit rappers, like uh, GMO Stacks and YB and Lil Bro, and it definitely is a different environment. I can't no, lie. Yeah, to. that shit real as hell. And, <laughs> yeah, that shit real as hell. And yeah, that's what it is. But and another problem, I had to say it, it's also the ladies. Like, the ladies got you thinking, got niggas thinking, like, you got to be a street nigga in order to pull them. Like, oh, yeah. He ain't got the Glock right. in the cup holder. So this nigga ain't got no ops, so I don't want him. Right. Nigga, I'm here to tell you, you do not got to be no street nigga to pull no hoes. Straight up. That shit's tough, that shit's tough though. It ain't a lot of rappers like that in the city like that, for real. That got that mentality, for real. Oh, yeah, straight up. That's just, that's just the real. We rep Manifestation. That's, that's our game. <laughs> so is that what, uh, Mendex? That, what that mean? Manifest, that mean manifestation? Manifest everything, never doubt, always 10. That's 10 toes down. That's no hard. Crap. That's a deep ass meaning. Yeah, straight up. That shit. Right across the chest, bro. That's what we stand on. And we all got this shit tatted. This niggas got it on their chest tatted. Across. Oh, Topak. Yeah. Thug life. Yeah. <laughs> no cap. No Floyd, bro. You get to talk to him every time to tell. I might as well, bro. <laughs> bro, this shit real life. Real life. And I'm talking about we got the tattoos before any type of recognition. Like when this shit was nothing. We like, oh yeah. For life. Come on. I damn near take the talk to him shit like that. I just ain't got it. I just ain't got it tatted. I you feel me? So Might as well get it tatted, man. Let's start that trend. If you believe in it, put it on your skin. My nigga Spark, uh, <laughs> love my nigga Logan. He got he got Spark tatted on him too. It's just you crazy. feel me? Put that shit on your skin. That way you I ain't gonna, know. Exactly, because it's that like, what's this on your skin, bro? You can't quit because that shit there is. Yeah, it's like you life. think about quitting. You put right. your hands in your head and you like, oh shit, what's <laughs> that? It's my fucking purpose. It's crazy, like niggas like thinking like you quit that shit and two years later niggas like, what that mean? Oh, some shit I started. Yeah, I really made it a unicorn. (laughs) 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 Like fuck off, man. You gotta look dumb. So yeah, don't get it tatted if you're not for real though. Okay. So uh, Derek, on the managing side of things, like, how do you keep your composure? Because I know managing is crazy. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you. I be freaking the fuck out every day. Every day. Every day. But it's like. At the end of the day, like you said earlier, like you gotta know your team. Like, I I know what like what we can do, or what what we capable of doing right now, and the potential that we can hit in the future. So it's just like it's just like the repetition factor. Like, you feel me? Every year these things dropping new music, and it's time for another show. Cause it's just like 
I'm like this. I'm I've been on a quest for knowledge, and I've been like asking people like, for me, what 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 do I what's what really, is it? really talk to your camera because it sounds oh, like you it sounds like mm-hmm. you about to say some shit. <laughs> I mean, it's like I'm mean, asking people like, what 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 do I need? Like, what else is needed for me to reach like the goal that I'm trying to reach? And it's just like they keep saying the same shit over. Like, you just gotta keep repeating this shit, bro. Just keep doing what you're doing, and it's just like it's really is the highest of the shit, and it's the lowest of the shit, and it's just like. On some side note shit, I was damn near sad the other day, but then I heard my nigga Project Pat say, on the life we live, gotta take the good with the bad, smile something, remember what you had. It was just some real deep shit, and it was just like, you really gotta ride this shit, whether it's good or it's bad, because it's just like- It's a roller coaster, It's man. a roller coaster, but it's like, remember they always say, it's always gonna be fun. Niggas, niggas don't always talk about when they there. It's always about the grind that it took there, and it's just like- we on the point right now. We just enjoying this shit, bro. That's one thing, bro. <laughs> like, I've been telling all these niggas, especially since the sh- the last show. Like, I've been like, bro, these this is literally like a time where we're gonna look back years from now. Like, hey, bro, remember when that whole I love this shit period was? Like, bro, live in this shit because this is like this is the prime of like this is the best part of the whole making it. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, of course when you get the millions, it's like woo. But once you if you plan on being in this shit for a while, you're gonna get used to that and you're gonna be think back, like, man, remember when that shit was really trying to do this shit, trying to build a name and shit like that? In we the living in this yeah. shit. In, in the, the basement. basement. In the in ba- fucking in basement. basement. That's, that's the name that's of the all episode. We talk about. I yeah, wanna, in the uh, basement. <laughs> I definitely have moments where I'm like, damn, I wonder what life's gonna be like when we like making this shit. Or even like when I when somebody asks to interview me, mm-hmm. like yeah. when I tell them my story, it's gonna be insane. Yeah, 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 bro, the story, nigga. I see my shit docu series, like not my shit, our shit, of course, but like docu series, like bro, our story is, <laughs> it's the craziest shit, especially how it all came about. Like, and then in moments like these, it's like to tell our story, it would take an hour, like of how we even all met and all that. You get what I'm saying? So we have to like concise it sometimes, like. It really is just like six friends started off, and then like individual niggas start coming here and here, and that's you know, thirteen niggas. Thirteen. This nigga said thirteen people, bro. Listen, that's a big ass team. Yeah. So like, out of the thirteen, who all rap for real? Okay, so that's the thing. It's not thirteen rappers. Like okay. I don't want people to get overwhelmed. Like what the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's only it's sticks. Myself, you got Sko, you got Woods, you got Goop, and then you got Pharaoh. Okay. That's our five rappers. And then you got KT, who is a producer, and he rap when he wants to. You okay. get what I'm saying? But yeah. I, I count him more on the Mendax production side of things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Sko is also a producer, too. Okay. And then that's like the producer side. And everybody else, bro, Josh, Derek, Founder. Founder makes the clothes. Mm-hmm. Josh and Derek do like the photography and shit. Who, hey, whoever uh, hey. founder is, we need to meet him. Oh yeah, because founder. on the hey. merch, on the merch side of things, y'all should. I I even be telling him like y'all merch hard. It's bro, like he he was pulling into some shit, bro. He the mastermind. Yeah, bro. I was about to say was, that's why he get that title founder. It's a sign of respect, and no, everybody call him that. No cap. The day before the show, bro, I walked into HQ because I had to drop something off. It was early as fuck. It was like five o'clock. This nigga, he in there sleeping HQ, hanging off the damn full time. Like, you been up on night? He was like, yeah, I was making shirts and shit. And I was sleep shit. up there that night. And that nigga was all through the middle of the night. I'm hearing steam press. <laughs> <laughs> this the night before the show. Everything y'all seen on, the, almost everything y'all seen on the merch table, that nigga was steam pressing the night before. Like, yes. he's the Asian in the, you feel me? Doing that shit himself. It's no sweatshop. He's the sweatshop. That's he is he the like sweatshop. type shit. That's that, tough though. That meme is gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can already see how I'm about to play. <laughs> Straight up though. Yeah. I'm about to just play this video. Like I want you to kind of like point Bro, out. I, I didn't even know it dropped. Point out who. Uh, point out just who like people are when you see it. Whenever like okay. when, we, when we watching this shit. Okay. Shit, I was editing this shit, bro. You was hitting a little. Uh, was a soldier boy shit. I was like, okay, this shit kind of, this nigga kind of got like a nice little personality. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I ain't, I'm sick. I ain't even know this drive, bro. I would have, I want to watch this shit. That's like the uh, the whole thing, cause I feel like with me and like how I meet people, it's more so just about like genuinity mm. and like. I know I met you at Juice Words, yeah. but I didn't even know who you were. Yeah, my man's Mathen. Shout out Mathen. He actually put me on, and yeah. like. He the one that sent me uh sent me the concert and shit and then we had the conversation. I'm yeah. like, okay, I'm gonna pop out. 
but he fuck with y'all heavy. Love. He fuck with y'all heavy. Shout out, bro. <laughs> we fuck with you. No cap. Yeah, that shit, bro. Juice World, I think I was just like pilt. I'm sick because I ain't gonna lie. I think that Juice World, I was like trying to find out where my bitch was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I was I wasn't needed the right yeah, hand space to be the oh where's my bitch? <laughs> you damn near got to. Especially. Yeah, it was it wasn't the right environment to lose your bitch. I ain't yeah, gonna lie. Be attached to my head. I needed a leash. <laughs> I needed a leash. leash. So um Derek, talk about like just the photography side of things. Cause the work is hard. Mm. But like how did you get there? Man, it was a founder. How I started doing photography. Founder, he used to take the pictures like all the time, but he would take too long to get them back to us. Mm. Love him to death, but he was taking too long to get them to us. You know, you was too. And so, like I said, it was a point in time, I think that was 2018, 2018, 2019. Like this one, he started taking rapping for real. Chris was making the clothes. You feel me? We had uh, our other man, shout out Rodney uh, Banks. Unky, he was making like butterfly hoodies and shit. So everybody was really finding like their niche and what they did. And I was just in my dorm, like, fuck, I want to do something too. Like, I want to, I want to contribute to this too. And this was actually before like the whole solidification went down. But no it was, just, it was just like, I want to take pictures. So I started taking pictures. But me, I overthink everything. I'm like the most overcritical person ever, bro. So it was just like, you got to be. Yeah, and I was just like, I put this shit down for a minute because I'm like, something my shit is missing something. But COVID was damn near the best time that ever happened to me because I sat in my room, <laughs> fucking was watching photography videos all day, you feel me? Then they was giving out that cheese, bro. I went and bought me some cameras. I'm like, it's time to get back to work. That's, that's fucking, like, that's yeah, fucking hilarious. That is like, yeah. Like the same, around the same time, I told bro, like, let's start a podcast. Oh. Getting yeah. that cheese, I bought the I mean, that bitch like, what do we need? <laughs> <laughs> what do we need? I bought the camera. He was like... He had his camera. I'm like, I need a new camera. Let's go get this bitch, bro. Come on, bro. Let's go get this <laughs> bro, bitch. I shot a, uh, we shot a Battle of the Sexes video. It was like one of our biggest videos that we dropped. It was like a panel type of scene. But mm-hmm. uh, as soon as we shot that, my camera broke. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Bro, big, biggest video. It got yeah. like the most views on our YouTube channel, but it broke. Did we take a break? Did we like kind of slow we down took, after we that? A, we took a little small break, then we came back with Hop. Uh, the hot one. Oh yeah, the hot. Y'all gotta check it out. Our YouTube channel is kind of like all over the place because we drop a lot of we drop a lot mm-hmm. of different content. Yeah. But that shit got potential. Like yeah. if you go back and watch the videos, you'll definitely see the growth and shit. Type shit. You ain't bro, gotta I, tell me, bro. I'm about to say I'm tapped in. Shit. Like I ain't went to the tube yet. That is one part I gotta tap in. But the, the everything else is official to me. Guys. I be trying to tell people that listen. like the, the Instagram and the YouTube are like they're different. Yeah, like, really. Yeah. Go to the tube, y'all. Listen, if y'all are on Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube, man. Subscribe Go on the fucking to the tube. Fucking YouTube. <laughs> what is here? wrong with you? Yeah. Type shit. So are you guys like in school? <laughs> uh, well, I went back to school last year. I'm in school for music production. I'm trying to learn how to make beats. And another thing, I already know what you niggas saying. Like, pfft, this nigga went to school to learn how to make beats. I learned on my own. Yeah, I know, bro. All right? <laughs> yeah. know what type of learner I am, bro? I need somebody to teach me that shit. Yeah. Straight up. That's just the facts of it. So, yeah, I'm in school, but I should be graduating by December. So. That shit's tough. Know, That's hard. That shit hard. Oh, y'all got a handshake? Yeah. Got a handshake, bro. Yeah. All that's... <laughs> 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 nigga. Look up. Nigga. Cook us on our shit. Right, we got to work on our shit. Bro. <laughs> nah, that's cool, man. Y'all Talk shake it, y'all him. shake. Talk to him. But, uh, what about you, Derek? You in school? I graduated. Uh, oh, yeah, you did say you went. I'm, yeah, I'm, 2021. Yeah. What was your uh, your major? Man, agribusiness management. I was in there learning about fucking farms, supply chain. Business school would not accept me. I had to take another option. Just Damn. to be a fucking manager, guys. Yeah. yeah he's going to manage and make millions. We're gonna make millions. Okay. We're all. What my nigga Bobby saying? <laughs> we already been there. We already millionaires. <laughs> we already have an Eddie on stage right now. Shout out my nigga Bo. Shout out Bo. So far, as like, uh, like your creative process, like, how do you like come up with music and everything? Man, it's a great question. You wanna pause it? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. But no, <laughs> but no, my creative process, uh, you know. I just, uh, it depends. If, we, if I'm working by myself, I just, you know, roll up and I just go. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta hear the right type of beat. 
the, what's been new is making music with all my all of them now because we was just individual artists we just became a group this year mm. we was individual artists in mendex for three three years you know what I'm saying? because when i asked everybody to join it was like I didn't want them to feel like they were joining a group because niggas might turn their back to that. They don't like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, you your own artist. You just a part of the collective. You know what I'm saying? But after getting pressed for so many years by different people, like, when y'all gonna do a group? Like, y'all might as well do a Including group. Including me. Yeah, Including yeah. Me. He on our head. Y'all need to do a group. The pressure that, like, out, like, people on the outside give creative is insane. It's yeah. crazy. Like, y'all need to do, man, all the I needs I hear, I can't even speak on it, but. They was definitely pressing us, so it's like now we became a group. Like this was the year that we tried it. You feel me? We paused it. Yeah, it's straight. It's okay. But uh, yeah, so this was the year that we decided to do it and shit. And then, if I'm making music with them, it's like I don't know. I like it a little more because it's like we just go. We got our own studio now. We had HQ for what, like two years. Yeah, I ain't gonna. I look at this video, bro. This group shit is gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> y'all shit was crazy. Like yeah. I ain't. I ain't gonna talk down on nobody, but like y'all turned that bitch up. Like, yeah, y'all turned that bitch this. up. It's our show. We gotta. You know what I'm saying? No matter who we got on the lineup, we gotta bring bro, our. Bro, and like you behind the you behind like I don't know how you think you behind the scenes type of person. Yeah. I seen you in the crowd. I'm like, this nigga in the crowd? Like, oh, you, yeah. You should have been nah, on stage This is what y'all got to learn about Mendax right here. Before, like, this show, everybody was on stage, right? When I first started performing in 2019, our sauce was, all my niggas was in the crowd. Mm. Fuck what you talking about? So everybody, Derek, anybody, rapper, we all was just in the crowd, and the front was always jumping. So no matter <laughs> what, it's like, man, these niggas, and that's how we built the reputation for ourselves, like, performing. That's hard. Hell yeah! So now we shit. get to the point where now we used to be saying that back in the day, like man, I can't wait to the times where we could just be on stage together, like fuck it, like yeah, you got fans and we and we got people who gonna do that for us. Yeah. Now you get what I'm saying? We finally can do that. That point, yeah. That point. <laughs> <laughs> we finally can do that. You feel me? Straight up, this shit is a long time coming. Manifest this whole shit, man. <laughs> we were just talking about that off an idea. <laughs> this shit just came off. Niggas was really. Bro, like I said, we could sit, sit up here and talk for hours, bro. We really model after, you feel me, that nigga ASAP Rocky, bro. ASAP Mob, bro. ASAP Rocky, ASAP Mob, Wu-Tang. Wu-Tang. And that's, that's the thing. Everybody, we all, like, <laughs> at one point was, like, when we were first coming up, like, high school, we all looked up to ASAP. Heavy. Like, heavy, heavy. And then it's, like, everybody, like, started getting their own inspirations because everybody started getting into their own art. And wow. it was, like, for me, like, Wu-Tang started, like, <sighs> Wu Tang inspired this whole shit for me, like OD, because it's like how everything play a part and like it's too like a line. Not and it's not even like niggas try to be like them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like shit genuinely just be like, damn, that happened to them too. Right. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like I'm thinking about we supposed to stand nine. <laughs> bro, you feel me? Like we went all the way to the Wu Tang moral. We pay respects to the gods. Niggas were saying Wu the whole way, bro. That's hard. No cap. <laughs> so Y'all yeah. do that a lot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you mentioned there. Uh, one of our boys was on our podcast the other day, and uh, we did the same thing again. Yeah. <laughs> he mentioned it too. <laughs> uh, what, what I was about to say was, uh, so how do you guys kind of like make decisions if it's so many of you? Because everybody, everybody has a different point of view. <sighs> Throw that shit in the chat. <laughs> yeah, give a nigga, give a nigga a p chance to speak his piece, bro. Yeah, straight up. Or we have he be orchestrating meetings, bro. When I say like this nigga is like like uh, he be on some dad shit, like <laughs> like <laughs> family meeting, Dang, uh, like round up calling niggas. What you doing, bro? And then it's like you know, man. He I ain't gonna lie. Much love to my nigga Derek because I know he be going through it with our ass. But <laughs> we either hold a meeting or we just throw that shit in the group chat and. Everybody got a voice, like, no matter how long one person been in this shit longer than the other, no matter how long one person been rapping in this shit than the other, everybody got the equal voice to speak on, okay. yeah or no. Nah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I never, like, we didn't know each other for 10 years, bro. You feel me? Decade. Decade, no cap. So it's like, I'm not trying to fall out over no cheese, bro. I ain't even trying to be like that type shit. Because it's just, um... Uh, Man, bro, these these like I was, we was talking about earlier, bro. The journey to this shit, bro. The journey of this shit is gonna be so fun, bro. So it's just like I can't see, not see my brothers in my life. You feel me? When I get older, bro, and it's just like you feel me. 
Tell Old niggas there, bro. We ain't gonna fall out. We we argue all the time, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Niggas get the arguing. Niggas got boxing gloves. At That's HQ. yeah. I'm about to say we got yeah. gloves niggas at HQ. Two like. piecing niggas up all the time, bro. We 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 argue all the time, bro. But we got love. how old are y'all? Huh? 24. 24. 23, yeah. Turn 24 into the month. Y'all definitely, y'all uh, yeah, y'all, y'all are going, y'all go through the same thing me and him yes, go through. Yes, bro. Listen, <laughs> listen, like, my niggas, bro, we we had this one group chat, cut up squad for like damn near, like 10 plus years. Since high school. Since high school, bro. And Shout we out the members. Same mm-hmm. shit. They just get beefed out. Talk, we want to talk for a little bit, then we come back together. Like, yeah. <laughs> same shit. Like, That's how it go. Like, we got this podcast going. We're trying to get everybody involved and shit. Like, my man is Jason. He on the cameras. He been on this nigga since high school. And mm-hmm. you know him since middle school. Organic. Type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, all y'all shit just like, I, I can relate to it. <laughs> like, even, uh, even when you was talking about, like, the club, like, talking about the merch stuff, I wanted him to be here specifically. <laughs> Because we literally had this conversation before y'all even showed up. Like, I want ago. I want him to understand that he could do great things. Like, he's very creative. He's very creative. <laughs> but I feel like he hasn't like bro. He hasn't broken down that barrier yet. Where it's like, you know, you creative. So take advantage of the creativity. Don't make excuses for yourself. You a great friend. You a great friend for telling that. Hey. No cap. Ford, yeah, I don't like like for real shit like Ford is probably the realest nigga I probably could do this shit with because this nigga like he's I for one I know that he a people person I was just like yeah bro podcast I know you gonna get out there you gonna be like talking to the motherfuckers so you can talk to me it's real mm-hmm. and I'm just like and he's gonna drive he'll tell them the group check y'all niggas gotta get on y'all what they what that little mean y'all gotta get on y'all Zoom nigga, y'all gotta get on <laughs> nigga come on tap in bro that's why like uh, you mentioned like the meetings and stuff yeah I was kind of uh, in the beginning we were like kind of trying to orchestrate those things or like mm-hmm. trying like just sit down and put the ideas out there bro yeah. like, mm-hmm. I feel like like saying some shit in a group chat it's like it can get misconstrued like Man. anything can happen or like yeah. Being in person and having that conversation, it's definitely like you said. depending on the conversation. Like the wrong conversation held in the group chat, that has shit. <laughs> like I, we we've seen the worst. Yeah, of we the seen worst. that shit. Like, I don't like this nigga tone. Yeah, like <laughs> what tone? Exactly what? what tone, bro? I could have been polite as possible. Right, right. You have no idea. Right. But it's like too. That's why we got the. You feel me? You started from the basement. You feel me? You upgrade your shit. Now we got HQ. So it's just like. Me at HQ. Me at headquarters. That's Talk about shit. it. HQ. That definitely was what we needed. HQ. I fuck with that. We need some. We need, we need the HQ. Yeah. Boy. This is. <laughs> this is I, the I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to take y'all shit, but that's hard. HQ right. is hard. <laughs> Brody, Brody <laughs> takes me. Uh, Brody takes me talking about. Uh, should we pull up on you or can you pull up to HQ? I'm like. HQ capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some mafia right. shit. We definitely don't be pre explaining it to people. We just be like, hey, come to HQ. Excuse <laughs> me. No, you got to for real. <laughs> HQ. <laughs> shit like that uh, uh let people know what type of time y'all on. Yeah. Okay. Cause I even be uh I even be telling people no. like uh No. Damn. I even be telling people like we at the studio. Thank you. Like that's where we are with the studio. And they be like, what studio? Like mm-hmm. this is our studio. That's what we call this shit. The studio. Yeah, it's a studio. That's y'all. That's why I said I ain't want to pull up to the crib. You feel me? And I come in the crib, bro. I'm crib. You feel me? Hey, Gotta have respect. You feel me? I fuck with that though. We respectful young men. Yeah, we are respectful young men. Except for when I'm with your <laughs> wife. <laughs> so like shit, since since y'all are respectful young men, are y'all going fifty fifty? <gasps> you go. <going, laughs> yeah, I didn't expect to get that question in here. Yeah. Okay, shit. Uh, nah, I ain't gonna lie. The way I was raised, this ain't no pick me shit. I ain't gonna lie, don't pick me. It's like, shit, the way I was raised, bro, man supposed to be able to, he do the whole thing. He do the whole shebanger. So you handling all the bills, you do all that. Like, she ain't really got to worry about that. Unless, you know, you give her some little shit like a cable bill, DT, some small shit you can layer, yeah, whatever. But you're supposed to be able to have your shit together. That's why you're not supposed to get a girl until you even able to do that. Cause you don't want to be a, you want to be able to walk around your house like King Kong. You know what I'm saying? Like straight up, like you know, hey, yeah, like this is my shit. I'm, I just got off work. Kick your, you know, what I'm saying? I just got off work. <laughs> hey, I'm tired. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, in my opinion, but I don't knock anybody's <laughs> how you want to do it. Right. I just saying the way I want to do it. That's why you feel me. I'm waiting till I got me. Then I see me pop out with a little. Type okay. <laughs> so you're current. You're currently single. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I plan on being single for a minute. I ain't gonna lie. 
Gotta get the rack ace. So, girl eating a, uh, at Juice World, what happened with that? Was, was that like a little... No, nah, no, nah, that, <laughs> where I had to find my bitch? Uh, yeah. That was... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I gotta find my bro. bitch. Nah, that was that was that happened to be something That's I the was wrong time to bring a bitch. You feel me? I was I was yeah, but then this, this nigga time, brought sand to the beach. Yeah. <laughs> 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 nah, yeah, that was just something. I just happened to wander off, and then I'm yeah. Where's my bitch? Like <laughs> I seen her in the distance, smiles and shit. What right. the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga trying to dab me up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What up, bro? Wait, on, Watch out, though. <laughs> what's, what's going on over there? Can we talk about our little shit? The yeah. album? Yeah. Wait, we are you even, going 50-50? We didn't, right, we ain't uh, even getting yeah, it. He's trying to skip. He think he's slick. We're going to we gonna get to the album. Shit. Stop trying to rush. Are you going 50-50? Look, I got a girl right now. We live together. Feel me? I pay the rent. She be cooking, bro. That's all oh, I that, need. Tell him your social. That's why he ain't want to talk about it. Yeah, she, yeah, She going to watch this, and he don't want to <laughs> say nothing crazy. Look, look. look, look. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's just like you feel me some real shit. You feel me? I feel what he's saying too, but it's just like I'm my eyes, bro. It's a partnership, bro. She make my life easy. I make her life easy. So and respect, right. no right. cap. That's why it's like however you want to do it. You feel me? Yeah, that's hard. Like me personally, I ain't, I ain't, I'm with the fifty fifty shit. But like then again, I like I want the, I take care of the rent. I take care of the rent. You take care of all the other shit. The little shit. Give her yeah. something to just you know. Yeah, hey, yeah, little like, shit. Netflix subscription. <laughs> the whole world ain't got to be on my back, baby. You could mm-hmm. take Europe. You know what I'm saying? You could take Africa. I'll take the so rest. You, you'll get her the Netflix and Apple Music. Yeah, yeah. Like, Hulu. Yeah. Yeah, that's up, bitch. Why the... <laughs> why I can't watch Suits? No. <laughs> you pay the bill? You got right. one job. Right. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, y'all niggas pretty good. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. So... Talk about our little shit. I love this shit. I love this shit. How did y'all come up with the name? Okay. You gotta let me talk. Cause Cause I fucking saw you, big dog. All right, nah, real shit. I love this shit. Like we came up with that shit. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just need a moment to break down this process because people need to know how this shit no, really came about. No, take your time, about. gang. Talk to the camera. I'm going to talk to y'all real talk quick. Talk to him. Talk to him real talk quick. To him. Oh. Talk to him. Talk to him. podcast. Check this out. January, we took shrooms, me and Sko, right? Wow. And so we took shrooms. Shout and out to shrooms. Me we had a story. This is a hell of a way to start a story. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga said, I took some shrooms and that's what happened. <laughs> no, okay. Like, like, look, we took some shrooms. One of my first time taking shrooms at all. Oh, at this point, we're shroomologists, all right? But we took them, you know what I'm saying? Fuck it. <laughs> Random day at HQ. Took them, made a good song, right? Whatever, had a good trip. The following week, we took shrooms again, right? And we made Hot Topic. At this point, it was me, Sko, Woods, KT, and I think Josh, we was all just in the stoop, middle of the night. And we took shrooms and we made hot time. We was like, bro, at first we was just going to sit there and do nothing. When we when we literally was on shrooms, we literally wouldn't do nothing at all. We wouldn't make music or nothing because it was hard. Right. This was the first time ever in our life that, like, lyrics started coming to our head. Like, it was, like, all the, like, on some movie shit. I swear to God, I literally was, like, sitting at the stoop and I was like, hey, bro, let's make, let's make a song. Let's try to do it. We sat there, put up a beat, bam. Nigga, we made hot topic right there, but we we was we stopped at the part where Sko was like, "She's a hot topic, she's a hot topic." Cause we sat there and laughed for thirty minutes straight, cause we couldn't get over our, at the part that it was funny and it was like <laughs> how he said it, and the fact that it was actually sweet. So then it was like, bam! From there, we just went on a brainstorm for an hour long, song not done, about how we was about to rap as a group, how the shit about to come about, like we about to do an album, about to do a whole rollout, like bro, we can rule the world. We was like, bro, we could blow next week. Like, let's really do this shit. I mean, <laughs> so from that point on, that same like night, we went, <laughs> we made finish our topic. Woke up, ate breakfast, came back to the studio, made Freak Nick, and I love this shit. So we made those three songs in the span of the same twenty four hours. Y'all be locked in, bro. <laughs> that time it was off the shroom. Hey, that, that time it was off the shroom. I had to take a break away from the bitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was gonna say we 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 continued to do shrooms every weekend after that. For about now, nah, look. Let me stop. For about three weeks, then we were burnt out. Like we felt our body, <laughs> like damn near being burnt out. So we stopped taking shrooms and shit. But we kept the like, you know, over time we kept going. And then like during this time period, this is the winter January. We were saying like how we were gonna put a show together as well. Like for that to be the last stop. All this shit. Pause. 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 I'm sorry. We've been on the run for three summers, y'all. Mm. No cap. 
keep that in your mind while I'm going. Everybody that we had on the show, but that wasn't Mendax and Buddy and Scotty, we met this year. So Taylor, SK, Scoob. You know what I'm saying? Bando. We met all them people this year, and we said we was going to meet all of them people. Because like, it was like, you know, we was like, yeah, bro, it'd be sweet. We'd get these people on the song. This, this. And we wanted to meet them, but we was always on some genuine shit. Right. Met them genuinely. Like, it wasn't no, like. That's the whole thing, for real. Yeah, like, the shit just, like, was happening. Like, we was just literally meeting them. Niggas come to HQ, hold it up. Next thing you know, niggas just kicking it. Like, it's all love. And shout out to everybody that we met this year. And then, uh, yeah, we just, the song, I love this shit, right? The night, that same night. KT said on the song, oh, my God, I love this shit so much. Oh, my God, right? It just on some hot shit. He was like, bro, I'm just about to say, oh, my God. You know, I'm just about to say something. He said, oh, my God, I love this shit so much. We should just call this shit, I love this shit. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> and that's, that's how it went. And then we just kept that shit going, finished the tape. And at the very the very last thing on that tape was the SK uh, interludes. Like, we asked that nigga, to, you know what I'm saying? I want to touch on all, I want to touch on all of that. Pause. <clears throat> <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> I want to touch on all that. <laughs> I touch on all that. was crazy. I'm, I'm sorry. I ain't been doing it to you on your show. Whoa. That uh, was crazy. Pause, y'all. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, god damn. <laughs> the cover, the uh, the cover art, the cover art, Derek. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. did you did you t- you put the cover art together? The album cover. I ain't gonna say it was all me because I when I first came to it, it was like I had asked this nigga what he was thought, what he was thinking. But I was like, we should all get. I've been trying to get basketball jerseys for a minute, bro. We all been trying to get basketball jerseys. God damn it, founder get us basketball jerseys. No Who is this man? Founder? Who is this? He's man? the founder, bro. That's the only way I can. Describe I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show y'all a picture of him, but he really is. Bro, he's the godfather, bro. No cap. Shit, bro. Yeah, he's he's done. Yeah. Y'all, hey, y'all if crazy it, with them uh, You feel me? The, the hierarchy, bro. That nigga trumps all, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's the boss. He's talking about the hierarchy. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, bro. I wanted these niggas to wear bandanas and basketball jerseys because I just wanted uh, that shit to be sweet, bro. And then. Let me say something. Go ahead. You can go say let me say something. Nah, because you, you, you was about to look. I came to, bro. When we came up with the Death Row shit, right? Like the the vibe cover that they did. Yeah. It was like, bro, we should do that. Like just put that way the idea was this so like they could know who's the rappers in Mendex by face. You get what I'm saying? That was the whole goal. So it was like, all right, perfect. Do the Death Row shit so it's nothing but our face. And then it was like, let's incorporate like I've been wearing bandanas my whole life, like since I was a young nigga. So like I was like, bro, let's just all throw the like the bandana. By the way, we made this entire album with a black bandana over the mic. Damn. Yeah, like to this day, some Lil Wayne type shit. Oh, I think I joined one of your lives and I seen that bitch over the mic. Yeah, literally, we put it over the mic, like starting in January, like that whole story I just told about Hot Topic. On top of that, I was like, bro, yeah, we gonna wear bandanas, and then threw the bandana over the mic. That's so. hard. This room was different, bro. Yeah, it was really different. Like <laughs> when I tell you, we was so locked in. And that was like we had it all pre-planned out. Like I still got the whiteboard in my room with the whole rollout drew out, like. Took this shit serious, so like, yeah, we did the band dance, but we want, yeah, just mix the death row with a little bit of Mendax, you know what I'm saying? So, threw the band dance on that motherfucker, but he lost his mind on the covers. Like, the pictures is so insane. Like, shout out DB. I was like, I was full on sweating by the end, bro. And when I get locked in, bro, <laughs> he's making just, it sound like a championship game. It, 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 it did feel like a championship game, bro. That shit. When I get locked in. When I look at that shit, bro. When I'm listening to that shit, bro. It's like, damn, like. Wait, I, wait, when you say locked in, what you mean? Like when you be taking pictures? Yeah. Okay. Like uh, you feel me? I got a whole. You feel me? Got to smoke a little weed before I take some good pictures. You feel me? Him in the real photography studio is different than him just catching street shots. Like yeah. when he in I, his bag, I he. Wanna, be, I want to know because I uh, I do photography too, so I want to. Uh, Kind of see like what gets you in mode. I just I look every I look at it everything as a whole. Like I probably sit back, I probably just look and stand there and not do anything for like you feel me three four minutes five minutes type shit till I find something that I like and then I just start like my whole thing is I'm not I don't like all the flashy shit. I don't got to be flashy. I don't got to be complicated. I just want to make some shit look strong. Like gives like strong poses, simple poses but strong looks. Like type shit. You direct your mules. Is that what they say? Your mules. Yeah. Okay. I got. You tell them yeah, what to pose and shit. Yeah, type shit. 
But also too, like I like working with people who know how to like model too, because it's just like sometimes I don't like saying anything. Like my whole goal is just to make I wanna my whole like when I take pictures, my goal is to make you feel satisfied with looking at yourself. Like I wanna give you back a nice photo, a nice piece that made you feel like damn, like I look good in this picture type shit. So I keep that in my head too. And then with this shit, you feel me? I love Mendex. I love this shit. Like we catch ourselves saying, <laughs> I, love "I love this shit, shit so much" because I really love this shit. So it was just like, bro, I really, I was like Jordan, bro. I left it all on the court, bro, all in that studio, bro. I was you mean just that shit. I really do mean that shit, bro. Like no cap. Like I just did. I feel like I did what I need to do for the group, bro. To feel like the good of the group, like not just me. Like I don't. I try to separate my my ego and shit and and play for the team and not just for the self type shit. So I felt like at that moment. That's where that's where my team needed me to propel, propel us to that next step type shit. Mind you, my man's is talking about photography, bro. He's I, passionate as you fuck. Gonna like you're gonna be big, man. What you shoot with? You're gonna be gay. You're gonna be. Gay. I shoot with a little Fuji film XC4. That oh. bitch so beat up, bro. I'm trying to. I'm upgrading all my shit. I just bought a new computer, bro. I'm coming new uh, camera next. I ain't gonna lie. I wanted to ask you how much you spent on that bitch, but I ain't want to be one of them niggas and get all up in. Man, that bitch was nineteen hundred. <laughs> Damn. 19 is crazy 19 is crazy But it's like I needed it Cause it's just like Bro my little Mac That I got right now That bitch kept crapping out on me Y'all hear a gang talking about In the background family Y'all hear what he talking about <laughs> He talking about it, It's not just me Invest Invest in yourself man You ain't gonna get nowhere Without investing Manifest. in yourself Man, Nah low key bro I was literally I was up I was talking myself into it I'm like this is where I should get it This is where I should get it This is where I should get it And I was just like Fuck it bro Once I want something <laughs> I might as well just like yeah. talk to the people that like don't that want they like they might want to invest in themselves but they might be scared. I I was thinking about that babyface Ray video when he had the Mac hanging out. He was like, "Invest in yourself. That's where it's gonna get you." Type shit. And I was thinking about that shit this morning. And I was just like, "I gotta invest in myself because it's like, bro, I'm really passionate about this shit, bro. So it's just like this shit gonna this shit gonna go somewhere." You feel me? Because everyone is doing their job and everyone is putting on their part to be, you know, better for the group, bro. Like, and I just love to see it, bro. I really love this shit, Let bro. Let me say something real quick. Y'all not selfish. Hell no. Nah. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That's my, This my brother for real, bro. I, I met this nigga over Xbox, bro. bro. What? Listen, I listen. I met this nigga what? over Xbox. Let me tell y'all something. No. No, <laughs> on my mama. Listen, listen. Back, <laughs> back in, was that, 8th grade? We've been grade? friends 10 years. Yeah, bro. In 8th grade, my best friend left and went to their school which was like the other three members and like he got cool with them and then we all got cool on the game i didn't see these niggas physically until we got in high school Damn. you get what i'm saying like junior once once we all got cars you get what i'm saying like we were all just best friends for three years <laughs> over the mic oh, that's crazy <laughs> y'all didn't meet each other or nothing Nah, I mean, besides the niggas who went to school together which was right, like right, right, three right. What was that like four of y'all yeah yeah and the other you know what i'm saying we wasn't but i ain't gonna lie though gang that shit, that shit. I know we can eat. Everybody in the room can feel this. When you play the game with somebody, it's like you've known them your whole life. No cap. No cap. <laughs> no yeah. Bro, we used yeah. to be literally like going to sleep. All right, let's watch a movie type shit. Like, all right, one, two, three, everybody press play. Like, <laughs> like real talk on the like It was on the mic day and night. Hold on, I got to go to the store. My mama, come back. Bet, what we on? Gang, gang, gang! I'm literally, you I'm feel? literally, you gang. We used to be, we <laughs> we used to, we used to be on the game and be on Skype. Like we was fucking yes, with the bro. Skype, like you seven feel? niggas, yeah. nigga. We on the game Shut together. No cap, that bro, that that was the most liveest time. I'm not gonna lie. That's when all of our like, that's when it was pure friendship. Like it wasn't no yeah. business in the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like we was all genuinely just friends we was hard. really friends for yeah. all this shit bro. <laughs> no cap and been friends like how do you like separate the friends from business uh it's not it's not easy i say that because it's like you know what i'm saying these your boys so it's kind of like shit we by all means we are not perfect bro yeah straight up we, nobody's perfect and we remember that but it's like also the niggas who are mendax wouldn't be mendax if they didn't understand the business and how important that is to this whole shit like we wouldn't be able to do a, a lot of the shit y'all see from us is us like all doing it together like putting something in to make it happen so it's like if everybody wasn't willing to do that you know what i'm saying this shit won't work in the first place so niggas kind of understand how serious this shit is so we don't really have to separate but it'd be it little it'd be situations like where it's like ah, my boy you know what i'm saying fuck it i'll let it slide but 
I feel like a lot of times, like, with, like, working with your friends and shit, like, certain shit that, we, that you would say to your mans, they'll probably be offended to, but it actually is, like, be, like, constructive criticism. Like, look, yeah. man, you need to do this and this and that, but they might take it a whole different way. Like, man, this nigga don't know what the fuck going on, da, da, boom, 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 boom. Man, y'all yeah. kind of beefed out about some shit, but a lot of niggas don't have that mentality to thinking, like, oh, yeah, he got the best of heart for me. And, so that, yeah, that's, what, what, he say. that's what I was going to say. Like, yeah, with, with us, like, niggas kind of take the constructive criticism in a good way. Like, especially if, like, if one of us is saying, especially if it's about your art, then it's like, okay, yeah, something might be, but, like, niggas kind of got a good a good head about that. It be more so niggas don't like constructive criticism on their like ideas. Like mm. if they pitch an idea about something and mm-hmm. a nigga be like, ah, that mm-hmm. idea is not that good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? A nigga probably get offended to that. Like niggas never like my ideas. Like on, on some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That That'd be the type of shit that go on. We would just like I feel like with us, we just try and try. We just try and see like the good and bad and how we can evolve. Like we, I feel like we try and evolve ideas. Like if my shit ass or if bro shit ass. What can we substitute and take out and make it sweet mm-hmm. and rework it and make that? Bitch yeah, it don't got to be a fallout. Like yeah. mm-hmm. if your man's if this your man's and y'all doing something like an art or some business together, and that nigga give you any type of pushback on anything you saying, like you got to you know what I'm saying? Really not look at it like a nigga trying to hate on you. It's your man's. Like. So talk about like how you just like kind of built the relationship with um mm-hmm. the boat. With who the boat? Oh, that's my baby. Shout out Boat. Uh, shit, met that nigga this year too on some crazy shit. I was seeing Boat like probably like for like past like year or two, but I never really met him. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, I had seen him at my Halloween party last year, like October. I just told him that his music was sweet. I was like, hey, bro, fuck with your music. One of them. I'm that type of nigga. Like, I ain't got no ego in this shit. Like, I don't care. Like, hey, bro, if your shit hard and I see you, I'm gonna tell you, hey, your shit sweet. Mm-hmm. So I told him, you know what I'm saying? But we ain't really had no real conversation. Then fast forward to this year, bro. Scoob had came up to HQ, and then Bo had pulled up to HQ out of nowhere. Next thing you know, start kicking it with that nigga. Next thing you know, me and that nigga made a song. Me and that nigga made a song, and then we made a video within the same week. You got to. Yeah. Yeah. It was really him. Like that's when I I, uh, I peeped his work at it because I, I made it and I was just like, he was like, yeah, we gotta do a video. I'm like, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like, yeah, you know, we'll get to it. That nigga blew me up. Like, oh, hey, bro. Video? Yeah, he like, hey, bro. Yeah. We got, like, you know what I'm saying? We got to shoot that bitch like this week. Like, let's do that shit Friday. We can invite people to, you know, invite people all that. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you know how I'm going to I'm like, oh, okay, for sure. Say <laughs> what? Let's do that shit right now, then, man. <laughs> no cap. And shout out Mendax Visuals. Them boys stay ready. They they shot it right there. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't, I don't necessarily remember if we touched on it, but just talk about the preparation that y'all took in a. Like bringing the concert to life. Yeah, that <laughs> the the concert that was all a part of the album shit. Like you know, just meeting all these artists coming to HQ, and then we just you know that that was our sixth show. So at this point, we we throw shows. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? But we're not. We're at a point where they're not finna be shows anymore. Mm-hmm. We're finna throw a festival. Fest- no cap. Don't. Did y'all throw? Uh, did y'all throw parties? We threw a. Couple parties, maybe like one or two. Yeah. Okay. I'm manifesting it, by the way. That's no. Nah, talk your shit, gang. Yeah. I see what type of time you on. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, yeah, nah. He thinking big, and he got to. That's you know what I'm saying. But nah, last year we threw a Halloween party. That bitch was big. But we've been doing shows since 2020. You know what I'm saying? Just consistently. But this one, we was like, bro, we got to come like crazier because last year, V's came. You know what I'm saying? And that was like. That was the craziest shit to us. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we didn't expect that. He surprised us. For the whole th- song and shit. You feel me? So then it was like, this year, how do we top that? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we was, like I said, looking at all the list of people that we wanted to meet on some shit. But it's like, we was never on no, like, I don't know. Like, we didn't, like, reach out necessarily. You get what I'm saying? Like, Organ- this shit genuinely team. just, like, came together. And we genuinely fuck with those people. And they genuinely fuck with us. So. Next thing you know, put that shit together. It was easy peasy. I ain't gonna lie. Mm, lemon squeezy. Lemon squeezy. Lemon no squeezy. cap. Put that shit together. Hey, okay. date time. L club. Bet. I'm glad uh, we got to get y'all. Like y'all are part of our timeline, and like we kind of part of your timeline. That's yeah. Hard. No okay. cap, bro. We all want to come up together. No cap. That music festival shit hard. Right. I like that shit. Oh, oh yeah, we definitely gonna have a uh, festival and all that. Bro, most shit. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. 
Mendix is going to be fucking everywhere, bro. No cap. This shit worldwide, bro. I can see it. Worldwide, bro. I definitely can see it. This shit definitely worldwide. Just the Much energy more. y'all put out for real, I can see it. Because it's just like, it's really just us for real. Like, I appreciate you. For, I want to yeah, cut you off like how Nori be on Drink Champs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Look. <laughs> Hold on. Look, 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 look. I want to say this real quick. A lot of times, I'm going to be real, like, I be feeling, like, real slept on. You know what I'm saying? Like, or I feel like this whole Mendax shit is slept on. Like, nobody really knows about what we got going on here. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, you know, that's just a part of it. But it's like, when that day comes, when the whole world can, like, understand what all this shit is, and it's like, okay, no, we get it. These niggas is, oh, okay, yeah, you ain't heard about, you know what I'm saying? That day... That's going to be like the day. I'm going to be like Thanos when he at the end <laughs> and he sat down and just felt like, <sighs> you know what I'm saying, bro? Because, man, we've been putting in work and there's more work to be done. You know, I know this shit ain't going to be handed to us, but like I really when I have my Thanos moment, y'all going to y'all going to know because I'm going to take a whole picture and everything like I'm waiting on my Thanos moment. I just wanted to say that. I'm going to cut you off a couple more times, too, just because <laughs> I want to be like Nori. <laughs> oh, man, let's talk to Retainer, man. Let's talk to him, man. I'm fried. Bro. This is what we was talking about earlier, y'all. <laughs> 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 this is what we was talking bro, about. moments, I'm like, bro, should I even hit this right now? I'm going to be fried. Doing That's fucking. Gotta, gotta, gotta have the glasses, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bro, this day shit, they don't even need the glasses. They can just... Hey, we chilling. Right. So we gotta just keep it going. I, uh, to add on what you were saying, I feel like that's why, like, that's really what Talk to Him is. Like, it started as a podcast. It turned into a platform. No, it added. We added the platform, mm-hmm. and all the platform is is to really shine light on artists that don't that don't yeah. even got no like. They should not even flickering. We lie. turn the nigga Y'all shit on. I ain't gonna lie though, game. We kind of we kind of like had the idea of it before type shit of like. You know what I'm saying? When we did our first episode, we kind of like we wanted to shed light on the Detroit music yeah. type shit. City music. Let shit. me say something about that. And in a way, bro, we already like, somebody told me the other day like, bro, Mendex is a label. I want you to know that. And I'm like, I don't look at that shit like that, bro. I didn't even look at it as a group at one point, but shit is just kind of just happening because, bro, on some real shit, like, niggas genuinely do discover niggas. You know what I'm saying? And then we created this platform where it's like now, no offense to nobody who do showcases or whatever, but we not charging them niggas to get on stage and be able to have that and have that moment. Yeah. That's genuinely us picking somebody out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, bet. Or somebody, you know what I'm saying, feeling love to come do that for us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's genuinely all love. We not no pay for a slot type of thing. Why y'all didn't pop out yesterday then? <sighs> Damn. He, now we on the spot. Bro, because the show is, bro, I'm like, I'm in this bitch like, no, because real shit, I'm in this bitch like, I'm telling niggas about the show that uh, just happened. I'm like, the Mendix niggas really turn niggas up. Like, I see how they moving. They really turn niggas Damn. up. The crowd determined, like, the winners and shit. Like, y'all, I ain't gonna lie, y'all should have came up, did y'all thing. Literally mimic what y'all just did, because this, this ain't even in no more. But y'all, shit, y'all turned that shit up. That was like the latest <laughs> clip of the whole, like, little vlog and shit. Yeah, nah, no cap. Yesterday was, uh. <sighs> man i feel you know you know shit, what i'm saying it was happens. one of them i ain't gonna lie a lot of this is what comes with being in a group you know what i'm saying like sometimes y'all not all in the same place at one time you know what i'm saying it was one of them things do you y'all don't you feel like if y'all was to take something or take like a show or a book and y'all would all have to be there yeah yeah okay hell Cause, yeah because it's just like when you when you book Mendex, you're not booking five niggas. You booking the whole gang. No like, cap. You booking the whole gang, then you then there booking the whole gang's gang type. I shit, about to say the gang's gang. The you feel me? Because this that. is this is at this is a community. This is community college club. Everyone's a part of community college club, but this is Mendex. Everybody a part of CCC, but everybody can't be Mendex. Yeah. That's just how it is. Oh, so it's a difference. It's, it's a difference. difference. The community college club is everybody. We all go to CCC. You go to CCC. <laughs> You Everybody in CCC. You go to CCC. This oh, all yeah, one. This all one community, bro. All one community of bridging the gap and networking. Everybody bringing everybody. Community in. college club, but community college club. 
We're Mendax. We're like the dean office. Hmm. Fuck you talking about? We the, bo- we the board. <laughs> we the yeah. board. We the board. What are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. What's your favorite song off I Love This Shit? Can't fuck with it. Yeah, can't fuck with it, bro. Can't that shit. When- <laughs> Woods and Sko. Come on. And they, bro, I was just telling niggas, like, bro, we did not expect Come Home. Let me tell you, bro, we made that song while the Super Bowl was on. <laughs> Yes, we may come home while the Super Bowl is on. Like, Sko had better a certain amount of money on the bowl. Around halftime, his best was done. So he went in the stew. The Super Bowl was on the HQ. He went in the yeah. stew. Me and the couple of niggas still in the living room. Goop going to the stew with Sko. Sko ran out. Like, Goop just laid down this crazy hook, bro. I'm like, bro, eh, the game on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not caring. Little break come down. I go inside. You know what I'm saying? Bro, talking about, <laughs> are you going home with me? I said, hello. Now, this shit crazy. I lay a verse now. You know what I'm saying? And then, as you know, that's the only song with all, all five of us on there. That's hard. Who you, know you feel like? Saying? Who you feel like? Damn, I hardest? didn't even know that. That's the yeah, only song with all five of us on there. I got to. I got to. I got to. I got <laughs> Who got to. the hardest verse yeah. on that song? Yeah. Goop. Goop. Yeah, Goop, Goop for sure. He made the song. Yeah, the verse and the hook is crazy. She coming home with me. Late night, she want to stay up on the phone with me. Late night, she want to stay up and get gone with me. I ain't coming by myself. I ain't coming by myself. I brought a cone with me. Pulling up on my plays, I brought my hoe with me. Uh, Everybody think I'm vague, but my hoe give me. Pulling out a rock and show, she can get ignorant. That nigga was talking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was talking crazy. White boy, long hair, rock star, my he, baby. That was him? Yes, that was Goop. Goop. Goop is the white boy with the long hair, if you don't know. Yes, that was him in the very first verse of Come Home. That was him. That nigga can rap. He like he like one of them like you. He'll be in a function. You won't even know why he in a function. Bro. That's how I, that's, <laughs> no cap. That's how, that was my interpretation of when I uh, when I seen him. Bro, bro, he hard. He's bro. Crazy, he's bro. crazy, bro. He's crazy. He crazy. And like he can turn it. Him and that nigga Scotty, bro. That's like fucking. Shout out Scotty B. Yeah, bro. If you don't know Scotty B, is he the kid who had the Joker face paint at the show? That nigga right there, them two niggas, they like, they like paired <laughs> together, bro. They like really like the Hardy Boys. Like they, man. they crazy. Like <laughs> evil. Like Goop is like the super chill, and Scotty is just like the <laughs> evil other side of right. of Goop. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, bro. They, they them boys. Scotty not Mendax though. Goop is, but they like, it's like they're together, like. The community, bro. Yeah, like, they mm-hmm. community. Like, we, Scotty go where we go. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Period. We definitely got to do some shit. Like, I want to see. I do, we definitely got to do either, like, a day in the life or just, like, a, a studio vlog session. Bro, everybody up. there. We don't yeah, be bro. on shit. Come to HQ. Go to HQ. No cap. <laughs> Come to HQ, man, and go bang that motherfucking album. That bitch crazy. I love this shit. I love this shit. Hey, so man. much. It's talk to entertainment, man. Do you, uh, do you write? Do I write? Yeah. I ain't wrote a song in like five years, man. I ain't gonna lie. I really, I don't know. I ain't got nothing against writing. I just feel like, I don't know. I just go off how I feel for real and just say shit. It's the growth. Yeah. And that's why my sound just be like changing every time. Not changing, but it's like. I don't know. I'd, I'd be just going with the flow of everything. So it'd, be the, it'd be the sagas, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. I tell you, bro, we was friends before all this shit, bro. It's just like. We it, look at this shit in like book form. Yeah. Like saga, saga. Niggas, right. it was at one point, we went to California for a whole month, bro. We went there, came back, whole different niggas. Did whole different type shit. You feel me? Came back from uh, fucking New York. You feel me on a plan, bro? Shout out to I Love This Shit music video, and then started to run from there. Okay. We did definitely shoot the video in New York. You know? Y'all shot the video in New York? Yeah. And there was some young niggas out there. <laughs> bro, it's crazy. We had the idea for the I Love This Shit video to have it where it's like in the Times Square at some scenes, and it's like, you know, Times Square is lit. like, But nigga, speaker got stole, so we didn't have the speaker. Yeah, our so speaker. By the time, and at this time, we were all on acid facts so we <laughs> we went we downtown but this is like the end of our our trip you know what I'm saying? so we all did her sluggish we like bro the speaker got stole you know what i'm saying but we still got to shoot this video like we in Times square we only got like a day left it was cold so, so niggas <laughs> shot the video on a backup camera saw some young niggas making a tiktok 
with a big ass speaker. I'm like, I go over to the young nigga. I'm like, hey, hey, yo, can we use that? Y'all want to be y'all? <laughs> y'all want to be in the video? <laughs> like, feel me? Y'all want to be in the video? They like, hell yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Come on. I'm like, shit. You know what I'm saying? It was like this main character kid with the glasses and the hood. He was he was crazy. And he just like, yeah, whatever. He, whoo, he like called his guys over. <laughs> it was crazy, bro. I swear <laughs> I was a movie. I swear it was God, like a little circle formed in Times Square. I was like, oh, shit. I pressed play that shit. Dude, dude, dude. She want to be cool with the kid. Them niggas started, hey, hey. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, they're, like we don't have to use none of our energy. Like, <laughs> right. they're doing it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just picked up the speaker and was, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and them niggas was fucking that shit up. That shit was turned because it was like, this shit is a prophecy. The speaker died, bro. We be having obstacles, bro. All through this shit, the speaker died. We camera died. We had a backup camera and some little niggas and a dream. The fuck, what you talking about? It made that crazy. shit work. Valentine's Day special. <laughs> no cap. And let me oh, let me say this too, real quick, bro. In the making of I love this shit, we had to reset the Mac, completely wipe it. Oh my like, god! Like in the middle of the album. No cap. Was that shit like backed up and all that shit? The backup was corrupted. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Oh my God. That shit sick thinking about it. Hey. When I tell you obstacles, bro. Nah. When I tell you obstacles came against us so crazy, and y'all wonder why we about to be pushing this shit until December, because nigga. A lot of shit was supposed to make us feel like this shit ain't supposed to happen. Like, oh, man, fuck it. And we pushed through. Even on the day of the show, bro. Even on the day of the show, everything. Like, it was just, it's been so many obstacles that's been like, and we've been pushing through and we've been reaping the benefits of all of it. Not even saying like we just, you know, but it's like, man, we seeing more than what we used to as far as just like interactions and people finding out about us and all that. That's that's a win for us. W's in the chat for Mendax. Okay, W's in the chat for that's Mendax. Hard. No cap. Hashtag. What, so, like, what's next? Show. We got another show. We just threw a, a spontaneous show on the 20, what was that, 25th? 25th, 9 p.m. to 1, 1 a.m., Trumbleplex. It won't be no hoe-ass security in there on bullshit. I mean, it's going to be security, but ain't no hoe-ass security. <laughs> you ain't got to worry about none of that. We rah, throwing rah. a carnival. We throwing a full carnival in Trumbleplex. Yeah. That's hard. And we're going to have a Pia members stand for our new member, Pharaoh. Oh, yeah, let me talk about Pharaoh real quick. <laughs> Real quick, no, nah, I gotta talk about him. Pharaoh's the new member. Pharaoh Lanes, he been around, like he been around us for like a couple of years. Like me personally, for like five for real. Not every day, but like I see him around because we had come around with Woods. And now, you know, what I'm saying time come around, he just been hanging around gang a little more. Bro got his stripes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Bam, we just made a Mendax probably like last week. You know what I'm saying? So now. We kind of been hazing them. We got to haze them for like a year straight. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't no easy get in. <laughs> like, yo, you got to get jumped in the Mendax? Yeah. Basically, for a year straight. But it's like, it's all a little fun shit that come with it. Like like I said, we're going to have a, a pie of member stand at the show. So if you pay $10, you can smack that nigga with a pie. Yes. That nigga about to watch this hit me like No, nah, and that's the thing. He's not going to know until the day of the show. He's going to know when he's, he's not going to see on. this. I'm going to make sure he's not allowed to see this. Hey, don't, don't I'm going to make you block him. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. By the time he see this, yeah, my boy, it was a setup. We going to bring him in and just tell him, like, yeah, bro, it's the show. You ready to perform? Yeah, we're going we gonna to let him perform, though. We ain't going to fuck up the fit. We're going to let him perform, and then, yeah, sit right here. I might have to indulge. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. You gotta, and yeah. I know people gonna want to pie that nigga, and we gonna get him a, a intern shirt and write intern on that bitch. You should get. I'm gonna say you should get a prospect. You should get that bitch say prospect because like you just like with motorcycle clubs. Yeah. The new the new motherfuckers get prospect on that bitch. They gotta prove their way into the. Club. We getting the prospect bitch, slapping okay. it on them. <laughs> we getting the prospect bitch just so they know that he donkey of the day. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. It took so That's much to right. get here, bro. The yeah, group chat know. name right now is Pharaoh's a bitch. <laughs> 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 I swear to God. Hey, man, it's I, a part of the hazing, man. It's a part of the hazing. You gotta go do it. He Mendex though. That's gang. I wish one of y'all niggas would say that to my nigga. Type shit. I fuck with y'all though, man. I like y'all energy and shit, man. 
Let's talk to entertainment. We're about to bring this interview to a close, man. You got anything you want to say for it? Nah, man. I appreciate you guys for just coming on. Nah, I wish y'all good luck in everything y'all do, man. That shit. I fuck with y'all energy for real. Likewise, bro. Good Likewise. luck with y'all. Talk to him in association with Mendex. Records. Want to last shout outs and anything y'all want to do. Shout out to my mom. Shout out to my dad. Shout out to my little sister. Um, shout out to the whole, my whole family. Uh, shout out to Mendax. Shout out to Detroit Public Schools. Shout out to Cinnamon Toast Crunch. <laughs> and um, shout out to Wu Tang. And shout out to um, New York. New York. <laughs> Shit. Shout out my family. Shout out Mendex. Shit, bro. Shout out Talk to him Entertainment for allowing us to be on here. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Shout out to you, baby. You know who you are. Shout out. <laughs> 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 she right. doesn't know who she is. All right, y'all. It's your boy Talk to him, Jay. Your boy Flip Vibe. And we out. We out.